Hello, welcome to Tabletop CP, and today we're going to be doing video number three in our series on O200 Hours, the new World War II stealth game by Gray for Now Games. And in this video, what we're going to be doing is taking a look at the fully completed starter set. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look. All right, so here we have the fully completed force. 12 SAS, 18 Germans, that's what's in the starter box. So I'm not sure how good the lighting is, but uh, we'll just kind of pan across here before we take... A little bit of a closer look so I've uh, if you've watched the other two videos the SAS and the German video you've you saw how I uh, decided to kit them out and how many of each I decided to make uh, using the cards essentially and this is the end result so we'll start over here with the SAS guys so we got uh, four riflemen or I'm sorry four four regular troopers with rifles and SMGs so these two got rifles these two guys have SMGs, and then we have two troopers with uh, special weapons. So the first one is our sniper, and then we have a Bren gunner as well. So those are our troopers. Next up we have our officers. We have a lieutenant with pistol. This one I did some kit bashing on uh, from the... Uh, I forgot what sprue I used, but uh, another world or a world or game sprue I used to get the uh, arm, the pointing arm, that's pointing forward. Uh, this sprue in the starter set comes with this pointing arm, which is pointing uh, out to the side. So this is the sergeant, and he's armed with an SMG. So really cool models. Uh, then I have two guys with silenced weapons. I have one guy with a silenced carbine. And I have one guy with a silenced pistol. So that's those. And then uh, I got two more specialists. I have a guy with the rifle, or I'm sorry, a radio. And he's armed with a pistol as well. And then the last guy is armed with a pistol. And he has a demo charge. So that is the SAS portion of the box. So here we have the German portion of the box, a little bit bigger, so a few more guys. Uh, so we'll start over here, we have two officers. Um, usually it's just one officer to, in the game. I made two just to have one as an objective, so this guy's more of a high-ranking officer who could be used as an objective in the capture mission. He's armed with a pistol, and this is kind of the everyday in-game officer. Also armed with a pistol. These guys came out really good. And we have three dog handlers. One with a rifle, another one with a an SMG, and then another one with a rifle. So three dog handlers. We have two NCOs. Both are going to be armed with SMGs. So we have a classic pointing sergeant NCO, and then this guy here who could be an NCO or just another trooper with a uh, SMG. We have five rifles. So the one guy with the flashlight, and just two regular guys with rifles. And then these guys are a little bit different. They're uh, standing at attention, which is kind of a cool pose. You don't see that very often in miniatures games. So good for uh, standing there, guarding the entrance to a headquarters or something. Then we have two guys with uh, SMGs, another one with a flashlight. And just another regular guy with an SMG. And then I made one guy that is in the surrender pose. Who He could be a captive of some sort uh, for an in-game objective. And that is the German portion of the box. And there we have it. The fully completed starter set for 0200 hours. Uh, overall, these minis are very nice. Uh, come with some very unique poses, especially for the Germans. Stuff that I've never seen uh, before. Lots of sentries standing around. You got guys smoking. Oh, I don't think I ever showed the uh, gendarmes. So this guy here is smoking a cigarette. And then we got a guy here stopping traffic. And then we got another guy checking paper. So these guys could really come in handy in a checkpoint type mission. So yeah, really cool um, uh, poses. Some really unique weapons for these guys with silenced pistols, silenced carbines. Um, and then just some basic weapons as well with the SMGs, rifles, and a sniper rifle, and then Bren. So, uh, yeah, so the next step is going to be video four. It's uh, going to be our first battle report. And we have played about five hours last weekend to get ready. 
I've watched the videos from the other guys. So I think we're ready to go and we're going to be playing the sabotage mission. So let us know what you guys think and uh, stay tuned for the battle report. So see you then.